Welcome to today's daily video lesson. Today's topic is angles. As with all daily video lessons, feel free to pause the video and solve the question on your own before seeing the solution. Here we have a figure. We're provided with two angles, x and y, and we're asked to find the angle measure of z. We see from the opposite angles that if this angle is z degrees, then this angle also has to be z degrees. And since this line that's given is completely flat, it totals to 180 degrees. Thus, x degrees plus z degrees plus y degrees all add up to a flat line, or 180 degrees. Note that we're provided with x and y. Thus, we have 65 degrees plus z degrees plus 75 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. This means that z is 40. We have a figure, and we want to show that lines L and K are parallel. In order for them to be parallel, all of the opposite angles need to be the same. That is, this angle would need to be the same down here. Thus, since W degrees and Z degrees are opposite angles, W would need to be equal to Z in order for these lines to be parallel. In a similar vein, we are dealing with parallel lines and opposite angles. Since this is x degrees, this also is x degrees. And since we are told that lines j and k are parallel, and they cross through the straight line p, then x and 40 have to be the same angle measure. The interior angles of a triangle always add up to 180 degrees. Don't forget in notation that this angle symbol denotes the 90 degree angle, or the right angle. We see that 90 degrees plus the 40 degrees that are given down here, plus x degrees is going to be 180 degrees because these are the three interior angles of our triangle. Thus, we can see that x degrees has to be 50 degrees. Since we want the value of y, and we see that this is a flat line, the sum of x degrees and y degrees is going to be 180 degrees. Since we know that x degrees is 50, this means y has to be 130. Here, the internal angles of a quadrilateral are 360 degrees instead of 180 degrees. We're given different angle measures. And again, observe that this is a 90 degree angle symbol. We should have x plus the 90 degrees plus 2x minus 5 plus x plus 35. All of these internal angle measures should add up to 360. 